Hello, Dimsdale. I'm Jet Ubecho with today's editorial, which technically makes it a jetatorial. Police are investigating a motive after a gunman shot nine people at Brooklyn's Plaza Splash Pad in Rochester Hills, Michigan. The shooter, a 42-year-old man, fired 28 times, injuring children and adults before fleeing. He was later found dead from a self-inflicted gunshot wound at a nearby home. The victims, including two young children in critical condition, were taken to local hospitals. Authorities stress the randomness of the attack, which adds to the community's trauma from previous mass shootings in Michigan. In other developments, a federal investigation is underway after a Southwest Airlines flight plunged into the ocean off the coast of a Hawaiian island. The incident occurred on April 11th, but only came to light publicly on Friday after Southwest sent a memo to pilots about the incident. The plane dropped at over 4,000 feet per minute, while only 600 feet above sea level. The Federal Aviation Administration has opened an investigation, and the Southwest Airlines Pilots Association has not commented. The incident follows a similar incident in December 2022, where a United Airlines flight dove toward the ocean in bad weather. Another evolving story? A Juneteenth celebration at Old Settlers Park in Round Rock, Texas, turned tragic Saturday night when a shooting left two people dead and multiple others injured. The incident began with an altercation between two groups, escalating as someone opened fire, hitting several victims. Round Rock, Police Chief Alan Banks confirmed officers at the event rendered immediate aid. No suspects were in custody by early Sunday, and the investigation continues. Austin Travis County EMS reported six people, including two children, were hospitalized with serious injuries. The park, located 20 miles north of Austin, will remain closed Sunday morning. In other news, former Arsenal star Kevin Campbell has died at 54 after a short illness. Campbell played 228 times for Arsenal, winning multiple titles, and later became Everton's first black captain, helping them avoid relegation from 1998 to 99 with nine goals in five games. Tributes from teammates, including Wayne Rooney and Tony Adams, highlight his impact on and off the pitch. Campbell, who enjoyed a media career post-retirement, was deeply cherished by fans and peers alike. His son Tyrese expressed heartfelt gratitude for the support and love shown. From all of us here, stay classy, Dimsdale.